I've always been a huge music buff, so my favorite thing to learn about in physics so far has been the science of sound waves, especially the science of building an instrument. I chose an experiment today where I could create my own instrument using some of the relationships about sound that I've learned in physics, particularly the relationship between frequency and length. Straws. My goal today is to create my own instrument using straws and using this relationship to predict what length each straw needs to be in order to create a particular frequency. In the end, my goal is to have a pan flute in the key of C. The materials needed include straws, tape, and fire. And of course, some of the basic relationships I mentioned. The relationship we'll be using in this experiment was discovered by James Clerk Maxwell, or Heinrich Hertz, or both of them, or neither of them. Google was inconclusive. Somebody really smart discovered that the frequency is equal to the velocity of the medium divided by the wavelength of the sound. So how does this help us with length? Well, first things first, we know that the velocity of air is equal to 344 meters per second. But the air that we're using comes from our mouths and it'll probably be kind of spitty and humid, so we can assume it'll be about 342 meters per second. So now we're just left with the wavelength. Our experiment has a tube that's open on one end and closed on the other. This means that whenever the air molecules are excited, those towards the beginning of the tube can move freely, whereas those near the end are going to be compressed and under a lot of pressure. If we talk about this in terms of a sine wave, we're going to have something that looks kind of like this. However, we know that a full wavelength looks something a little more like this. The wave in the tube is really just one-fourth of the entire wavelength. Luckily, we can see that this little chunk is really just the length of our tube. In other words, our complete wavelength will be equal to 4 times L. We plug this into the equation from before to get F is equal to V over 4 times L. And since we're trying to find the length, we can rearrange it. So now we have L is equal to V over 4 times the frequency. From here, I research the frequency for every note in the key of C. Then, I could plug this frequency into the length equation to find how long the pipe needs to be in order to get a certain note. First, I cut seven straws to the calculated lengths, and then I sealed the ends using the torch. Then, I just taped everything together, and there it is. The calculations and construction were actually really easy for this experiment. Honestly, the hardest part was just figuring out how to get the straws to make a sound. Not quite like the professionals, but I can make a discernible tune. Most of the pipes got pretty close to being the right note. They were a little out of tune, which could be because either we didn't have the correct velocity for the air, or the way that they were bent at the bottom might have affected the sound waves a bit. Not perfect by any means, but I'd say that overall I was pleasantly surprised by the results from this experiment. 